Welcome to this video guys. Uh, today I want to compare M2 Max versus our Intel Hackintosh at 5.1 GHz. So our custom Mac Pro from our previous video compared to M2 Max. Uh, because I don't have M2 Max, I will use for comparison my result benchmarks and max stage uh, benchmarks from his video uh, here uh, we can see uh, already i was uh, playing the geek bench test and that is the result so intel power gadgets is showing our cpu is at 5.1 gigahertz uh, the Geekbench is not uh, correctly identify the, our CPU, but uh, if you're using uh, Intel Power Gadgets, of course our CPU is being identified. Uh, and here is uh, the result of uh, max stage benchmarks. Uh, from the left, he has uh, MSI 13 Gen laptop. From the right, he has uh, M2 Max. Uh, and we can see the score. Our score is approximately uh, the same in single core. In multi core, M2 Max is faster, but because I have six performance cores and four efficiency core, I have been disabled these four efficiency cores. So basically, approximately the score will be the same. If I uh, enable uh, my efficiency cores, I just disable them because uh, it's not important so here in the next test uh, we, we can see metal performance so 16 inch uh, m2 max 38 cores scores 86,000 uh, metal score and uh, of course uh, mobile gtx uh, 490 uh, to 2054 uh, 831 of course uh, yeah the power consumption is very different but here uh, we can compare our RX 6600 Radeon card with uh, uh, 16 inch uh, M2 Max so uh, let's wait a little bit to see the result and to see how much uh, M2 Max will be faster than our G desktop uh, 6600 radio. And here is the score we have uh, 72181. Uh, so, yeah, maybe 10% slower than M2 Max. But uh, <laughs> if you compare the price, uh, actually, yeah, 10% slower. I can see 10 to 15% slower, but uh, still, metal performance is uh, it's not slow in our custom Mark Pro. And the last thing I want to compare is uh, web benchmark so speedometer test uh, how much M2 Max will be faster than our custom Mac Pro and uh, here is the scores 